Delighted to be here in Cardiff in Wales, joined by Liam Williams. I got your name right. Yeah, I'm glad you got it right this time, mate. We weren't happy last time. We don't have to go into this. Um, just caught a little bit of your sparring now, so obviously a couple of weeks out now from today. Uh, how have things been? Yes, yeah, been very good. Um, everything's gone perfect. Everything's gone the way we wanted to. Um, been getting a lot of sparring, loads and loads of hard work, and I'm ready. I'm ready to fight. I can fight tomorrow. Talking to your trainer Gary Lockett, he's saying that this is not going to be a different fight from the first. Is that how you see it as well? Yeah, I think, I think I'm just going to totally outbox him. I'll fight him at times when I need to. Um, I believe I'd done that last time until uh, until it was a naughty clash reds and, you know, it ended the way it did. So what? It's done now. Old news. It is old news and like I said, that fight is, you know, in the past now. It's all eyes on November the 11th in Newcastle. So um, that's what you'll, you'll be focusing on and need to focus on. Yeah, definitely. I mean, as you said, it's all old news now and uh, past is the past, no point crying over it. Just keep moving forward. Just just want to bet on myself and get the win this time. Move on to bigger things. I know we spoke in Newcastle uh, a couple of months ago, but you must be pleased that this fight was kind of done relatively quickly after that first one and it was made and on the way, so you had a date in mind for this. Yeah, I mean, I didn't have, I didn't have too much too much time off really when I enjoy myself a little bit. Um, obviously get, got made very, very oh, can't speak relatively quickly and you know it, it's good to get straight back on and you know have a quick turnover rather than rather than keep keeping dragging things on and people just talking so much and I want I want to see the back end of it to be honest. I'm assuming that the longer the kind of build up in it there's more <laughs> chance for things being said and obviously comments being made etc but you don't really take any notice of that surely do you Liam uh, in the build up of any fight let alone this one no but, you know before when I was a little bit less experienced like only a couple of fights ago people keep going with the Gary Corker and fight and me losing my head and stuff but I was just a simple fact that I never ever liked Gary Corker and full stop you know um, Smith are just he's trying to make me dislike him where it's not working I'm more experienced now I'm more, more mature and it's not a case of, you know, that I don't like him, it's just, it's just business and I want to, he's standing in my way to where I want to go and I need to beat them together. Ultimately, despite whatever said before any fight, what matters surely is actually the result in the ring, which you'll be looking to put right, in your opinion, uh, come November the 11th. Yeah, uh, everything else is irrelevant. What's said was, you know, the matter who wins the the battle of the of the arguments, you know, where it's just it's just what's done on the night and as long as I come out with my hand raised and that's all I set out to do. Just following on from um, Gary Corcoran, obviously he has his world title shot against uh, Jeff Ford in Brisbane coming up. Um, what are your thoughts on this? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, I, I don't really think he deserves it. I think, I think he's only had two fights of welterweight, does he? Um, but you know he's got his, rank, his ranking and all all the best for him. You know it's, it's pointless as me keeping going on about how much we dislike each other and whatever. Um, you know if, if he can go and get the win, it, sh it shows um, that my win was a, a decent win over Gary. Good luck to him. It was a fight that we maybe expected Bradley Skeet to get. Uh, it was a fight that Jeff Horn's team decided they didn't want to fight Bradley Skeet. So. Gary Corcoran can't, steps can't, up. Can't blame him for not wanting to fight Skeet, to be honest with you, because he gives he gives most people nightmares. He's a very good boxer. You know, he's massive for the weight, rangy. Um, and he, he can he can do pretty much everything really, so can't blame him for not wanting to fight. I think he'd I think he'd box his ears off like. How do you assess the, the scene at that weight at the moment? Um, is it thriving? Well to wait. Yeah, I mean you got you got a good handful of uh, top level British welterweight, so you know it's good. This I think my weight, the, the light middleweight, is uh, is getting a really big, really good division at the moment. Got a lot of people coming through in eliminators and whatnot. So I think I think probably my my division is one of the best out there at the moment. And some some very good fights. Definitely, it's been 
can be considered rather wide open, both them divisions, the light middleweight and the welterweight division, that especially domestically, that it's kind of there for the taking for someone. Yeah, um, I mean, without any disrespect, I don't think me and Smith are the top two, and we both capable of moving on fighting for world. Obviously, he's former world champion. We both capable of moving to our next level. So, I mean, below us, I, I think is is wide open. But um, again, without without any disrespect, I think us two are a little bit above. Yeah, I'd, I'd agree with that. I'd agree with that. There's obviously you guys, and then like I said, yeah, below that, wide open. So we'll have to wait and see what happens. Yeah, again, some good fights we made, and um, it only benefits British boxing. Absolutely. Um, all right, well, Liam Williams, thank you very much for talking to us. Um, I'll let you crack on with your day. Yeah. Uh, thanks for having me down your gym today. Thank you very much. And uh, we'll catch up with you ahead of November the 11th. Yeah, thank you very much, Goose. Cheers, mate.